So we're going upstairs first because there is a bunch of action going on downstairs. I will show you in a minute, but Will is on the sofa watching TV. So I thought I would start up here. Look, who is this? Who is this? Is it mommy's biggest boy? He doesn't like the camera. Usually if he sees me get the camera out, he will look away. <laughs> okay, so we're coming upstairs. I value your opinion and I want to hear it, but in like a friend would talk to a friend and I need you guys to give me some time before you judge the things that I'm doing. Let me and Tracy who is helping me, let me finish these things and then we can see if I want to tweak anything and we'll go from there. So the deal with me showing you this stuff today is please just know that I have things ordered and things are going to change. But I, today I just wanted to show you a few new things. I'm out of breath because I'll show you <laughs> when we get downstairs, we've been having to work on something else. Okay, so here is the studio part of my upstairs. This is something I want to change. The litter box is over here, which I mean, I can't do much about that. But this whole section over here is being used for their cat food. And I just ordered two more of the pedestal cat bowls because everybody wants that bowl. So I'm getting ready to have three matching bowls and I don't have anything in this closet back there so far. So I am probably going to, I don't want to swing you around too fast, but I'm probably for the meantime going to start putting some of this stuff that will fit in that closet. This is just a menagerie of things that I may or may not use. I just got this lamp at a resale shop and I think it is so like Vegas fabulous. Look at the, um, the beading and then the acrylic on the top and bottom. I just think it is so cool. So hopefully gonna use that somewhere. And that's what I recommend doing is when, even when you're decorating, grab pieces that you like, even if you don't know where you're gonna put them. So, and then that is some fragrance that I'm gonna show you and tell you about soon. That is some camera equipment and lighting. That, those are some decorating books and some journals. That is some different little art pieces. And that over there is my watch winder. So you guys remember this picture? When Brooke and I went downtown to a resale shop, Brooke took that picture. I had extensions in, but that was good times because Brooke and I were staying at the beach together and it was when she was younger and we would actually hang out with me. And then that's the artwork I had in my other house. That is a long time ago when I got featured in like a local, ah, a local like magazine type thing for fashion boyfriend jeans. I believe those were the Corey and tripods. I haven't had to use any lights here. And then this is an older lamp that I've always loved. And then this is my porch. It's a beautiful day. They are just now starting to work on this house that's in the green. Again, evidently there's a shortage of windows. So a lot of houses have just been sitting out here not, you know, getting anything done. This is actually the house in front of it. It's actually their garage and guest house. And this is where I sit to do my videos. And that's my new plant, my Sheffalera, and some artwork that you guys have seen before. I did put the mirror. <laughs> I'll go ahead and get my outfit of the day over with. I brought out my Mother Tomcat jeans. I love these jeans. And then this is a bodysuit from, I can't remember, I'll have to put it below. It's the one that Lydia Millen always talks about. And then a Skims bra. And then, da, 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 that is my new artwork. And I'm going to get, I have pillows, 
a blanket, a little table, and lots of stuff ordered for that. And these are Jonathan Adler. They are hand beaded, I believe in India. And they're beautiful. I don't know if you'll be able to see like how pretty the beading is in this picture. And so I ordered straight from the website and then I got the Little Love Seat Boucle Gwyneth from CB2. Okay, and now we're gonna pan over. This is one of the things I got at Restoration Hardware. It is just a black velvet ottoman. I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I think we're trying to do two chairs and something else there, but for the meantime, I just put that here and the cats love it. So it is, I just put that Barefoot Dreams blanket on it because keeping the cat hair off is crazy. But cats won't pick velvet, so that's a good point. So this wall is, we don't know what we're gonna do here yet. And then this wall, I'll try not to make you dizzy. I've got a long, kind of a glam looking white linen credenza ordered to go there. And then we'll, you know, style up that wall and that will give me storage for a lot of my camera equipment. And I am in need of book storage. Okay, so now this is my office. This is also, in the works, but so far you guys have seen, this was what used to be downstairs at my old house in the dining room. I think it's from West Elm. So I put my things here <laughs> and my little office. This is my old dining room table. And I'd actually ordered another table for a desk and it just, you know, was gonna take so long, we decided to use this, and I am so thankful. I love it, and I just think I like it even more than what I was going to order. And then that's a little storage room, and then this is the sofa from downstairs. And this is a rug that my parents bought and gave to me because they weren't using it. This lamp is from, I think it's from West Elm, and then you guys remember Bridget and Bruce. John just hung those for me today. And that is just a little tip of working with someone like Tracy is she told us exactly how high to hang those, how far to put them apart. And you know, she's just really with it when it comes to stuff like that. The same thing with these, because these are very heavy and you have to put screws in the wall and there's, you know, two, places on the back of each one. So, you know, we had to be careful and hang them exactly right. And then on this wall, one of you wonderful girls suggested a, I guess it would be called a bookcase, but it's more than a bookcase. It's really modern and artsy looking that I'm getting to go on that wall. And that way I can put the router and stuff and just dress up this wall. A lot of people ask me about my acrylic chairs. I actually found those at Home Goods a couple of years ago and I love them. Then, you know, this goes through, you've seen everything, but that is a little <laughs> peek at what I have in my closet. I don't want to show you everything because some stuff is for videos coming up. I still haven't taken a shower in here and honestly, I think this is one of the prettiest bathrooms, even though it's small and you guys have seen all that stuff. And so that is pretty much the upstairs. Okay, thought I would take you into the laundry room. Our shades that we chose are like a linen. I can't remember what this style is called. I can't remember, but it's neat. We can take them up from the bottom or the top. And when they go all the way up, they scrunch down really, really thin, like you don't have anything on the windows. And that was the key to these. My old, old dryer, but my new <laughs> washing machine. We haven't gotten the matching dryer yet because of the pandemic and just the way things are. And then this is the basket that I love so much from Walmart. I have been using that for towels, just towels, dirty clothes. 
And then that is an old, my mom bought those at a, I think it was an estate sale. It's real tulip baskets from Holland. I have two of them. And here's Nene. And then that rug grip just came. I have ordered two rugs that Tracy picked out to go. You guys have seen my dining room in the, the kitchen dining room is just basically a mess right now because those nightstands were our old nightstands, but we just got two new ones. So we're gonna either give those away or I don't know, save them for Brooke or something. We see you, we see you. Okay, and you guys have seen, I think, our bar stools. And let's mosey on over here to the table. And this yet again is another thing that is wonderful about working with a decorator is I wanted to use that white horse, but I didn't know how really. And she literally told me, go get a tray, go get a plant, not a small plant, a big one. And then get, you know, it just told me every single thing and it just came together beautifully. She actually recommended that candle too. And then remember when I told you about the mirror, my plan was to put the mirror here but she suggested that I put that table that I had that I almost gave away over here with my beloved tiger and my snake lamps. And then those are the poofs from my Walmart haul. And then this is a, I believe it's a Joe Malone candle that Barbara, the, my Chanel girl sent me to thank me. And then some pretty books that I love and you guys remember him. So I think that's just like basically all the stuff from my old house. And then here are the chairs from the restoration hardware outlet and our table. And it does seat six. We just have five chairs. We're, like I said, we were gonna order another one. We might get an accent chair. We might not worry about it because when my family comes over between this area and the counter and the dining room, we will have enough seating. And then Tracy's idea was to put the mirror here. So that is what we did. And I love it. It doesn't look half as big once we got it in our house. At the store, it just looked huge. I think it's called the Gilded Mirror. And it's, um, I think, 90 inches tall. So this will be a perfect spot to do outfits of the day or try on videos. And then that is a money tree. I got it at a local plant place here and they planted it just in the black pot for me. I might change that out one day, but I kind of like it. And then you guys remember my horse and then the tray I got from Home Goods. And then this is the candle. I got it from Amazon and it's Tracy's favorite. So really happy the way this all came together because I have a pretty, my tiger reflection in the mirror. I love the table that it's simple and just love it. And have I shown you guys? I have a little bit, I think. This is the sofa. So this is the deepest one. The color is nickel and oh gosh, Will, I didn't see you there. Okay, I'm gonna avoid Will. He is laying on the couch, but this is the Restoration Hardware Cloud Sofa. It's the deep one with down, and then this is the waterfall coffee table. We got to go with it. Here, just cover up your face or your head. That is our old coffee table that we are going to just put in storage and save for Brooke. You guys have seen our fireplace and so loving the sofa we think the color it couldn't be better and it goes really well let me show you it goes well with like the veining of the countertop we might when we get rid of that coffee table we might move the couch further up to the tv then that's brooke's room that's will's room and a bathroom and john's study this is going to be crazy. This is just how it happens. Monday, tomorrow at 10 o'clock, they will be here to work on both of my closets, kind of install the custom closets. So John has to take out the railing 
Okay, so first that meant I had to take everything out of both closets. He has to remove the railing and then he has to putty the holes and paint before they come in tomorrow. So I wanted to show you our new, I don't know, they're called, I think, bachelor's chest, but they're much, much, much bigger than the nightstands that we had. I love them. I am going to put my sunglasses in there. And then, of course, John's got the exact one. You can see all of my stuff. John, where are you? What you doing? Putty. Putty okay. There's my Schutz boots. I think I'm gonna have to get black ones this year. But let me show you these closets so that when they are done, you'll know what I started with. There's my hunk of burning love over there. Okay. And then, you know me, I do not like any handbags to be on the floor. So all my handbags are off the floor. These are Chanel, my little <gasps> Chanel and Chanel. Chanel, Nene. <laughs> so the Chanel bags, and I think this is the Balenciaga family. And then shoes everywhere. And then here's some more bags and shoes right there another mirror this was on that other wall but we moved it over here i think i'm gonna like it better over here okay nothing new in the bathroom really that's the only new stuff is right there that's new makeup that i'm trying yes and so we've got everything crammed in john's closet for now and then this is my biggest closet and the main one as far as Chanel, baby. I see you. But he's going to have to take all this down. And I think my shoes are supposed to go in the other one, like shoe racks. And this one has the shelves and the drawers. It's kind of going to be like a built-in dresser to go in here. Yes, 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 yes. You think I'm talking to you? Yeah, some of my favorite shoes that I never wear. I know. And then some robes, weights, tennis shoes. So is that everything? I think so. I'm trying to think if we got anything else, but I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's my iced crushed ice maker and I'm gonna leave it off in here which I think is just so pretty and I will see you soon